Hello and welcome to this online presentation designed to help you make a decision about whether university is right for you. My name is Ali and I work for the Access and Engagement team here at Birkbeck University of London. I'll be taking you through some of the main reasons why you might want to study at uni, what other options there are, and also touching upon why Birkbeck could be the right university for you. The chances are, ever since you started at sixth form or at college, all the talk has been about going to university, what university is right for you and how to make sure you get into it. But what might have been missed out is whether university is actually the right thing for you. Whilst it might feel like the whole world has either gone to uni or is about to, you shouldn't feel like it's your only option. So, to kick off, let's look at some of the benefits of studying at university. We'll start off with the big one. Certain careers require university degrees. Unfortunately, there's no real way around this. So if you're looking to become a doctor, a nurse, an architect, a pharmacist or a barrister, you'll need to do a degree in those fields. Other careers will also require you to have a degree. So I recommend researching what qualifications you need to do the job you'd like to pursue. Sticking with careers, gaining a degree will generally improve your career prospects and give you access to a wider variety of jobs. In many cases, it will allow you to progress more quickly within your field of work. Studying for a degree will also teach you valuable communication, problem solving and time management skills alongside your subject knowledge, which prospective employers really value. Having a degree will also boost your earning potential. For example, the average salary for graduates is 30% higher than for non-graduates aged 25 to 30. So if earning a high salary is important to you, it might be time to think about university. University can also help to build up your confidence and independence and will allow you to meet and work with a wide variety of people from a range of backgrounds. Finally, you might just love the subject you want to study and want to know everything about it. In this case, university is the best place for you as you'll be taught by some of the country's experts on that field and you'll be able to immerse yourself in learning about it. But, as I said before, university isn't the only option for people coming out of school or college. It may be that you want to take a year out before you think about applying or you may just not want to go at all. That's absolutely fine and you shouldn't feel pressured to go to uni if you don't feel it's right for you. Here are some of the reasons people give for not going. If you don't go and decide to get a job instead, you're earning money rather than spending it. University is expensive, even taking into account the student loans and financial support that's available. So it may be that you would prefer to earn some money first before going into higher education. If you're at work, you're also getting valuable, practical, on-the-job experience, which many employers want to see on a person's CV. Entering the world of work also means that you'll meet people who aren't just fellow students, which will give you the chance to learn and benefit from their experience. As for the potentially negative side of university, many people who feel a sense of pressure about going end up choosing a subject they aren't totally sure about studying, just to make sure they end up there. This can often lead to students being unhappy and resenting their time at uni. If I could offer one tip to anyone thinking of university, it would be to make sure you know what you want to study. And if you don't, university isn't going anywhere. So take some time out to really research your options before you commit. So what are those options that aren't university? There's actually a lot more of them than you might think. It's not just go to uni or get a job. Even if you like the idea of university, it may be that you feel like you aren't quite ready to go yet, in which case a gap year might be a good idea. This will allow you to take a year off from education so it doesn't feel like you're going straight from college into university and can also allow you to save some money through working. Similarly, it might be that you start working and decide you want to stay in the world of work rather than go to university after all. Something that combines elements of both work and study are apprenticeships. These combine full-time paid employment with part-time study for a relevant and nationally recognised qualification. You'll usually have to work around 30 hours a week and study for one day a week. What's good about them is you'll get paid whilst also getting on-the-job experience, as well as a qualification once you've finished. However, competition for them is tough and they don't always pay well. If you're looking to get a bit of workplace experience without the commitment of a full course, you could always look to do a work experience placement. These generally last between two weeks and a month, but unfortunately are rarely paid. What they do give you is valuable experience to put on your CV, which employers really like to see. Also, if you like the idea of work experience but would like it to be longer than a couple of weeks, you can look at applying for an internship. Finally, you might just want to try and get a job. 
No detours, no diversions, just go straight into a job at an entry level and work your way up to the top. For example, many supermarkets offer their staff the chance to train all the way up to a managerial position. Lots of entry level jobs don't have any minimum requirements other than you being legally able to work. You just need to be willing to stick it out and work hard to climb the ladder to the top. But as many people will tell you, it isn't always that simple as the job market is really changeable. So it's important to know that you may have to apply for lots of jobs before one comes along. By now, you're probably wondering why someone who works at a uni is telling you a load of things about why you might not want to go to university. That's because at Birkbeck, we're a bit different. Loads of the things I've talked about today have focused on the debate over going to university versus getting a job. So why not do both? Birkbeck was set up to allow working people to study in the evenings, so you can start your career whilst you study. You attend lectures and seminars from 6 to 9pm between two and four times a week, with a provision for online classes if necessary. We offer both full and part-time degree programmes, so even people who work full-time have a chance to study at university without giving up their jobs. We don't believe that wanting to earn money and supporting your family should come at the cost of studying something you're passionate about. In fact, one third of Birkbeck's full-time undergraduates are under 21. An increasing number of motivated school and college leavers are getting ahead in a competitive job market by boosting their careers as they study. By studying in the evening at Birkbeck, you can gain workplace experience while you study, rather than waiting until you graduate. You'll also be sharing your classes with professionals of all ages who you'll learn from, allowing you to make professional connections whilst at university. We even have an in-house careers and recruitment service, Birkbeck Futures, who can help with all elements of your career, from CV clinics to placing students on internships. But all of this doesn't mean that Birkbeck is the right choice for everyone. It just means that alternatives are out there. If the idea of Birkbeck sounds like it could be perfect for you, a good place to start is by checking out what courses are on offer by going onto our website. Birkbeck's access and engagement team offers support to prospective students regardless of background or educational level. So if you have any questions about the application process or Birkbeck in general, you can email us at getstarted at bbk.ac.uk. Thank you for watching this video and I hope to hear from you soon.